In today's video, we're going to be comparing photochromic lenses, which go from light to dark, against full-on sunglasses. And to do so, we're going to compare the two best versions of those products. First of all, we have Zeiss Photofusion, the fastest changing photochromic lenses in the world. And on the sunglass side, we actually have Zeiss Adaptive Sun Lenses, which are permanently dark, but do vary in their tint from this level to a full sunglass shade. So let's start by talking about the pros and cons of photochromic lenses, and then we're gonna compare that against the sunglasses. So with photochromic lenses, you have pretty much everything built into one pair of glasses, but with some caveats. First of all, these lenses will go from completely clear to full sunglass shade, depending on the conditions. And the great thing about photochromic lenses, my favorite aspect of photochromic lenses, is the fact that they will go every stage in between. So some days you don't want a really dark pair of sunglasses. On some days, like today, when the sun's setting, you want a slight tint just to take away that harsh glare of the sun, but nothing too dark so that you can still see in the shade. And the conditions are always going to be slightly different. And that's where photochromic lenses are great because they'll almost always, almost, match to the situation that you're in and the weather conditions that you're experiencing. The second really cool thing about photochromic lenses is obviously having everything built in. And what I mean by that is that when you're going indoors and outdoors frequently, to have one pair of glasses that does all that without having to swap around is fantastic. But there are three aspects where people can sometimes be disappointed with photochromic lenses. Number one, and in my opinion most importantly, they generally don't work that well in a car. Now there are some variations that work to an extent behind the windscreen, but really not enough to protect you in really bright conditions, for example when the sun's low, and when you can be really blinded when you drive. And therefore they really do not replace sunglasses for driving, and that's very important to remember. Number two would be that they don't change instantly. As quick as they are, photochromic lenses are not instantaneous. And some people find that having that tinted lens for a little while when they go back indoors is not their thing. They don't like that. They, they want to have clear glasses as soon as they step indoors and you don't have control over that. Speaking of control, the most complained about feature of photochromic lenses is the fact that you don't have control over whether they are light or dark. You see, photochromic lenses typically work with UV and UV can be present on a cloudy day. So you can have cloudy weather conditions and your glasses have gone dark. Or you could have bright conditions where the lenses are not experiencing UV exposure for whatever reason and they won't darken at all. That's why they don't work well in a car, by the way, because your windscreen blocks the UV. And in those situations, proper sunglasses are gonna be better for you because you have control over whether you can wear the sunglasses or wear your clear glasses. Now, on the subject of sunglasses, let's talk about the Zeiss Adaptive Sun. With Zeiss Adaptive Sun lenses, or with all sunglass lenses, you're gonna get that fixed tint all the time. What that means is that even if you're behind the windscreen, no matter whether there's UV exposure or not, you're gonna have a dark pair of sunglasses that's gonna protect your eyes. And depending on the tint, they might be better or worse for driving, but having a dark lens is essential in certain circumstances. With adaptive sun lenses though, your glasses, or your sunglasses I should say, will vary between this relatively pale tint and a full 97% sunglass tint, meaning that you've got the right sunglasses for the right situations. So for example, as the sun sets now, I can still see in my sunglasses. With a permanently really dark pair of sunglasses, I would have to take them off. And that's one of the negative aspects of normal sunglasses. And that's why some people prefer photochromic lenses because they're gonna fade back when the brightness decreases. With adaptive sun, you're really solving that traditional limitation with normal sunglass lenses, which makes these the best, in my opinion, sunglasses in the world. Proper sunglasses also have the advantage that they're gonna go that little bit darker than ordinary photochromic lenses. That means that in really extreme, really bright conditions, which we don't really get too much of in the UK, but certainly abroad, certainly if you're gonna be high up in the mountains or perhaps in snow where it's reflecting, a darker pair of sunglasses is always gonna be better than a photochromic lens. That's really important to remember. They're not gonna replace sunglasses for those really high brightness situations. But for most of the time, with normal brightness, photochromic lenses will be fine. So, you've now heard the pros and cons of both photochromic lenses and sunglass lenses. Which one should you buy? Well, if you can only get one pair, of course, it's gonna be photochromic because they do, in theory, cover most situations. But in my opinion, because of the driving aspect, sunglasses are still essential. So I would recommend to prioritize having the sunglasses 
and maybe consider having photochromic lenses in your glasses or in an additional pair of glasses if you wanted an extra style. In my opinion, you still can't beat one pair of glasses, one pair of sunglasses. Photochromic lenses are a good compromise, but not a perfect solution. So I hope that all makes sense. If you do have any questions though, leave them in the comments below. Give us a like on this video if you enjoyed it or found it helpful and subscribe to the channel. We really are growing at a fast rate and I hope you will be along for the journey. I'm Robert and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks guys, bye bye.